This is Dragonfly. She's a beautifully presented 57 foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in 2006 by Dragon Boats and fitted out beautifully, I think, by Stuart Hodges. She's in absolutely lovely condition. She was repainted last summer in 2019. She was blacked in January 2019. She had a full survey in January 2019 as well uh, when the current owners bought her and life has moved on, so they're putting her back up for sale. Lovely stern deck, 7 feet 11 inches long that is, so great social space. I'll have a look at the engine in a bit. Beautiful paintwork, so so well done. It's a Houdini hatch there in the galley which we'll see as we go forward. She's super specced as well this boat, the electrics are, are top end, all master vault. That cratch cover is new, very good condition. Good size well deck, 4 feet 8 inches long. Storage under both seats and the bow thruster battery is in the port side seat there. The water tank's under here, 450 litres stainless steel. I've tied that back. Yeah. Got nice glazed front doors. In we go, beautiful. The saloon's 12 feet long. Huge sofa bed there, very comfy. Drop leaf table on the port side, radiator, there's a digi box for the satellite system that's on board, it's an Oyster Caro self-seeking satellite. Television there, that's a Sony, TV DVD actually. More so squirrel solid fuel stove. Head height on the boat is 6 feet 5 and all the lighting is LED. Most of the lighting, actually. I think the lights in the saloon are halogen, but I'm not 100% sure. Storage cupboard here. Floor's lovely, engineered oak. And under the breakfast bar area, 12 bottle wine rack. Lovely, if you like wine. So there's a view down the saloon. See the radiator there? That's the central heating system. It's a hurricane 10 kilowatt diesel fired system. Three radiators and a towel rail. Into the kitchen, Houdini hatch. There's a fly screen that pulls over that, as with the uh, side hatch here. Little demonstration. There we go. Don't know why more boats don't have those, actually. It's ingenious. Storage cupboard here on the starboard side. For lots of preparation. Work surface in here. The fridge is a... 12 volt shoreline with an ice box. Quite useful little cutter and utensil drawers there. And some good sized cupboards under the sink. The galley's nine feet long. Not very shiny in here. Quite nice. The cooker's a New World Four Burner gas hob. Oven and grill, all domestic size, very good size. Stainless steel splashback and cupboards over. Very good feeling of space on this boat. Sink and drainer of stainless steel. On we go, another radiator. Here's the bathroom, sliding door. Good size shower cubicle. Heated towel rail and a ceramic sink. There are two loos on this boat, both porta potties. There used to be a Thetford cassette in here, so easy to reinstate if that's your preference. You'll have noticed we go to Oak Tongue and Groove now in the rear half of the boat. It was painted in the forward cabin with the original oak in the back. King size bed. Five feet wide, six foot three inches, six foot four inches long. It does fold up if you want more room down the corridor. I've left it up for the purposes of the video. But there is still room to walk down it, albeit sideways. There's a stereo system on board with speakers through the boat and the ceiling. Good sized wardrobe at the foot of the bed here. There is storage under the bed, of course. 
bed extends. It's it's four feet wide before it extends, but uh, the current owners wanted a sort of full time king size, so you can just fold those mattresses up and put them on top of each other and put it back in. Into the utility room, really good space in here. Good size cupboard, wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. Underneath that sits the washing machine. Domestic size hot point, it's a washer dryer actually. There's the travel power generator. It has a three and a half kilowatt generator and here's the master volt inverter, two kilowatt, an isolation transformer and a battery charger. All very, very neat. Out onto the stern deck. Nice and clean in the engine room. It's a Barashire 45 horsepower, so very powerful, perfectly capable on the rivers as well. Bank of four batteries, domestic. They were new in June 2019. There's one starter battery, and there is a bow thruster on board. It's a Vitus 55 kgf. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. A very highly specced. If you're looking for a liverboard, I can't really think of much more that you'd need on a boat. Really nice feel. Back through the boat we go. Just trying to see if there's anything I've missed to tell you, really. Water tank stainless steel, I think I mentioned that. She was last serviced in January this year by River Canal Rescue RCR. And there we go, absolutely delightful boat. That's Dragonfly. For further photographs, the fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.